Greetings, students. Today's project is going to be to create a personal crest. This personal crest will be based off of the coats of arms uh, from the medieval period. These coats of arms uh, were typically um, created almost like uh, almost like team mascots and uniforms that um, knights would put on their jerseys not just in war times but um, also when they competed in sporting competitions that like jousting and other combat sports to help prepare themselves for for battle and these these crests became very popular symbols and became more complicated and began representing not just the soldiers but also the noble houses they were from and the families that they resided from and including things like the uh, the occupations of the different family members, etc. So we're going to design a personal crest that represents our uh, ourselves and is a personal expression of ourself. So a crest is a composition of four main parts. Uh, the first part is the the crest that's at the top. It's like a like a, a hat or a helmet that's usually on the top portion of the crest. The main portion is a shield that goes in the center. The shape of the shield can be how you like. And flanking either side of the shield are supports. And these are typically animals or magical beasts that are there to protect the house or the family or are kind of like spirit animals that kind of represent some quality that you want to represent. And lastly, we have the scroll. The scroll usually on a crest either contains a motto or your family name or your name or, or both. And sometimes there is more than one scroll on a crest. So let's talk about the individual parts, starting with the main part in the central, and that is the shield. For your personal crest, you're going to create a shield that has between three and four images of things that you are personally interested in. Maybe you're interested in music, so you might put uh, some musical notes, or maybe you're interested in baseball, so you might put a, a baseball bat or a glove, or maybe you're interested in Minecraft, so you might put some uh, Minecraft-style blocks as a symbol on, on your shield. The symbols are completely up to you based off of your personal interests. And this is with a point where you're going to want to pick two or three main colors to be the colors that represent who you are. You can set it up however you like, whether it's set up in like kind of a 4x4 four four grid like this is, or lay them out in any kind of pattern, but however you want to lay out your designs is up to you. The knots that you see on this crest with the weaving line patterns on the shield, those often represent love or connection to other people or kind of the fabric of our culture and our society. That's something that connects people together. You'll notice that this one has uh, something that almost looks castle-like near the top, and that might represent uh, protection. So let's take a look at the crest. The crest itself is usually a symbol that goes on your head, like a, a helmet or a crown, but it could also be a headband like you see in this one, or you could make it a, a hat of some kind, even like, even something like a baseball hat. Um, but it really can be anything. Um, and usually there's some kind of uh, iconic symbol above it. Like in this case, you've got a butterfly that could represent a number of different things. Or this one has a torch with arrows on it, etc. The sports on either side are, are animals or mythical beasts that are there to protect you in your time of need or represent some quality. Like uh, a bear might represent strength, or a deer might represent your willingness to protect yourself um, with, those sh with those sharp horns. Anyway, the symbolism or meaning of the support animals are up to you, but notice that the size of the animals are usually at least as tall as the shield. Finally, the last part is the scroll at the bottom. The scroll is going to contain your name, and it can also contain a motto. For example, if you look at these, we see the, um, the, our name at the bottom and then a motto at the top. The motto is optional. Um, medieval mottos were often done in Latin, 
but um, they can be in English or any language that you choose. Here are a few more examples of uh, coats of arms from throughout history and some other artistic examples that uh, the people have done. So here is your project. Create a personal crest or coat of arms. You must include a shield that shows three or four symbols of your interests. You must include a crest and headpiece, something that you might wear on your head. It could be a baseball cap, it could be a scrunchie or a headband or uh, a, a COVID face mask, um, along with some sort of symbol that goes along with it. In the case we have here, we see a phoenix. You must include support animals on, on that flank either side of the shield. Uh, they can be the same animals or different, but um, they should represent something about yourself. Maybe it's your favorite animal. And lastly, you need a scroll with your name on it at the bottom and or a scroll with a uh, motto of yours. And that's the project. We are doing this in pencil on paper to start. I would like them in color. Um, you can use colored pencils or anything that, that you would like to use, but um, we will share these in class and I wish you the best of luck. Uh, I think this will be a fun project. I look forward to kind of learning about you all as we look at our crests and we'll see you in class.